Hello, welcome to Yoga Rocks Box. We're back with Josie Sykes in a slightly cloudy tree petra. It's still quite nice and warm. Um, Josie's been teaching, I always say, a really nice retreat at Yoga Rocks, <laughs> but um, it has been really nice with some lovely guests. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about about how the structure of a retreat might work, in case you, you don't know, you've not been on retreat before, about the little things you might come across. So, Jose, what have you been teaching this week? What kind of stuff? Uh, well, every day has a really similar structure. So, we start with pranayama and meditation. So, pranayama are breathing exercises and followed by guided meditation. And then an asana class. So, what's asana? Asana is uh, are the physical postures. So all the shapes that we make with the body. And that's also accompanied with pranayama as well. Um, and including in that part of uh, part of the day some chanting and some philosophy. So it's one juicy package. Yeah. And then a fabulous brunch. <laughs> um, and then we all come back together at the end of the afternoon for another another session of asana and philosophy and maybe a little meditation and some chanting. So that's kind of the basic structure of the day. Yeah. And as the week progresses, things change. So it's not that we do exactly the same every day. We start at a certain point and then according to how it's going in the group and with everybody, then, um, then we deepen, deepen the practices. And does each each technique, if you like, prepare you for the other techniques and kind of vice versa? Uh, yeah, it's all one big package really. So traditionally um, there are eight steps of Ashtanga Yoga described, for example, and some people say that there it's like a ladder and you start on uh, the bottom rung and you kind of go up the steps, but I like to think of it more as a kind of a tree with branches and I don't feel that any is more important than the other, so yeah. And it, they, they all feed into each other, so making one big juicy hole, hopefully. Yeah. And do you think that by doing all this stuff you can eventually find some inner peace? Hopefully, yeah, no, not hopefully, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of, yeah, that's the point really, relax and be yourself. Yeah. And how, what, and for you personally, because yeah. does it all work differently for different people? Well, everyone has their own path, of course. So, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Um, some aspects of practice appeal more to some people than others, but in the end, if you have a balanced practice and balanced action, then um, over time, I guess it all, all kind of draws towards the same thing. But in the beginning, uh, maybe, maybe not, because we're uh, we're kind of shedding things we don't need, and so people have different things that they want to put down or relax out of or relax into. So. Maybe initially things work differently, but in the end, kind of all draws together. And for you, what do you love at the moment? Ah, uh, pranayama, <laughs> pranayama, and chanting. I feel like pranayama is the cherry on the cake, really. Um, but I love, I love chanting as well. Yeah. And uh, well, I love it. And meditation. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that is a little bit of what you can expect to find if you come on retreat. Most of our teachers teach a bit of this and a bit of that. So um, you can come along and find out. Thank you yeah. Josie. Yeah, come over. Yoga Rocks Rocks. And that's it for today on Yoga Rocks Box. Thank you.